It's cotton candy cloud Hey divas, so in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys this unit that I am rocking right now. So if you guys are interested, then definitely keep on watching. Okay divas, so let's jump right in. Today we have a unit by Bobby Boss. She is called Fairy, and I have her in the color number one. So here is how she looks. So she is like a soft wave unit and she has like a light yakky texture. Here's the cap construction. She is average head friendly, but she can fit larger size heads. Because I do have a larger size head, she does come with an adjustable elastic band as well as two combs in the front, a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. And here I'm just showing you guys that this is a true 13 by 7 unit. And then I'm just showing you guys the hairline as well as the parting area. So this is how it falls on me. So it falls at maybe like a 14 to 16 inch on me. I do have a shorter neck in case you want to use that for a reference. Now I did go in and pluck the hairline just because I felt like it was a little bit too much for me. But this is totally optional. You definitely don't have to do that. So I kind of sped it up so it wouldn't take up that much time. As far as shedding and tangling, I did experience a little bit of shedding as well as a little bit of tangling. Um, actually, it was very minimal tangling if there was any at all, but I did experience some shedding. And now I'm going to go in and make the unit work for me, of course, and then I'll finish out my closing thoughts. Okay, Divas, so now that you guys have gotten all the details and the specs on this unit, let's go ahead and jump right in to how I feel about it. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say this unit is very, very gorgeous. This was a highly requested unit from you guys, and I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get to it, but here we are, and she is gorgeous. Like, I was really sleeping. Like, this hair is so freaking pretty. So let's go ahead and start off with the cap construction. Now, I did try previous. 13 by 7 HD lace by Bobby Boss. Um, off the top of my head, I've done Kiva, Isla, Jacintha. There's been quite a few that I did. Um, but so I didn't try this one um, because I think I was just reviewing other units at the time. There was no specific uh, reason. I've had this one for a while as well because after you guys requested it, you guys kept requesting. I was like, you know what? I have to get my hands on it. So. Um, yeah, but anyways, as far as the cap construction goes, it still does have that very white lace, as you guys seen in the beginning, but 
The best way I say you can get rid of it is this tinted lace spray. And this is really like, I did not expect to like this stuff as much as I do. It actually does melt right into my skin and it does match my skin tone really well. I guess it just depends. Like if it's not like a HD unit, then it might not work for me per se. Um, but most of these units that's coming out is HD, so I don't have anything to worry about. But yeah, I would definitely recommend using um, lace tint spray. Um, this has worked the most accurate, like without having to figure out how many layers you have to put on or anything like that. I just put on one layer and it melts right into my skin. Now you can go ahead and tint your lace with other things like powder and foundation and everything. However, I feel like you kind of have to work with it and figure out like what you have to do or maybe you have to go a shade darker because that's definitely something that I had to do with Isla. Um, so it just, I don't know, like I feel like it's almost easier to just use lace tint spray. Overall, the hairline is pre plucked really well. As you guys seen, I did go in and pre pluck a lot of the baby hairs out. I just felt like they were a tad bit too thick for my personal preference. Now granted, they do look very good straight out of the box, but for me, I just... I don't know like I feel like my hairline looks a lot more natural and especially because I knew I was gonna do baby hairs and I am a person who likes kind of semi dramatic baby hairs um I like dramatic baby hairs but today I feel like they're just semi dramatic and if they're gonna be dramatic or semi dramatic I feel like the hairline has to be at just like really really plucked and so that's why i went in and i plucked it a little bit more and i feel like it looks like very very good you definitely don't have to do baby hairs you definitely can just go ahead and brush them back it's all based off of personal preference now, as far as the parting space the parting space actually does go back further but i was being lazy so yeah as you guys can see like it's a true 13 by 7 because it does actually go back a lot farther but like I said I was just being lazy um so the parting space looks really good as you guys can see looks very nice and natural as well as the hairline does too but um I know you guys see me go in and pluck it so I say that it's fine the way it is but it just it just depends on personal preference the parting space is amazing um now as far as the cap construction go and them saying that this is glueless um it I don't know for me I don't I just don't feel like it would look as melted if it was glueless. Um, I did try it on to see how it would look glueless and it looks okay, but it does not give you like that, just like the max natural melted type of look. So you can wear glueless if you want to, but I don't know. I wouldn't recommend that. So yeah, it's just all up to you. Um, the rest of the cap construction is pretty standard. Um, of course, it's a 13 by 7. Um, it does have an adjustable elastic band. For me personally, I I feel like the elastic band, um, the adjustable elastic band is just okay. Um, I don't feel like it's going to super secure your unit to your head. That's just my personal opinion. And like I said, to get the melted look, I feel like you do need to go in with some type of A, be it glue or gel like I did, the got to be gel um, that I use because um, it has like a glue hole, but not really because you can kind of like take it off but it has like it will hold your wig in place like all day if you needed to so as far as the hair texture i really really do like the hair texture it's definitely giving off bundle vibes and i really really do like that it does look like i took a 13 by 7 frontal and i went ahead and added some bundles and a um frontal to a cap and i made it and i kind of cut the hair and curled it so i always am here for that so kudos to bobby boss for that i also really love these big effortless type of curls um they're not really like you know like they're not really defined but you can see that it does have a little bit of something going on um you could always go in and curl it um because this hair is um heat safe this is a heat resistant unit so you can go in and add some more curls which i may do later when i wear this unit again um but overall it looks cute like i love how effortless it looks it, go it goes with the look that i'm going for today because um, I just kind of have on like a t-shirt, biker shorts, and tennis shoes. So it goes with like my little niche for today. So yeah, um, the hair looks really nice and I love how it does not have like a super shiny luster. I really hate that with synthetic units because that's what makes them clockable. I feel like I am going to get max compliments today, okay girl? Like I feel like everybody's going to be like 
Like, yeah, like that's a human hair unit. And most of the time when I wear these HD units out, people do think that they are human hair units. So this one is definitely, definitely a go. I don't know why I took so long to try her out, but here she is for you guys. And thank you guys so much for sending me feedback and requests to try this unit because she is bomb she's definitely going in my wig arsenal because she is just so pretty now as far as the price point i feel like this one is a little bit more pricier however i feel like she is worth the coin i'm not sure how much she is now i remember when she first came out she was pretty pricey but um i definitely feel like it's worth it you know because i mean look at this unit like it's melted this hair quality is really really nice it's soft to the touch and it feels like human hair and it looks like human hair so overall i think that it's definitely worth it and i would definitely recommend that you purchase it i will have a link down in the description box below in case you are interested yeti was thank you guys so so much for watching i greatly appreciate it if you fabulous girls did enjoy this video and find it very helpful and easy to follow then definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up be sure to leave me a comment down below i would love to hear from you fabulous girls and know what you guys are thinking and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also hit that notification bell girl i do upload quite often so you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos but yeti yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you gorgeous girls in my next video bye